Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's yoga flow is in celebration of the full moon. So go ahead and come to the center of your mat in standing pose and we're going to start with our feet a little bit wider than our shoulders. We're going to start with some head rolls and make sure you go all the way around just like the full cycle of the moon how it is coming to completion during this full moon. Now go ahead and switch and roll your head to the other side, really taking your time going all the way around. Then coming back to center and let's do some shoulder rolls to the back. So bring your shoulders forward, up and back, rolling them all the way around. And then switching sides going forward. Really take time to focus on your breath. And come back to center and we're going to go ahead and bring our hand up and go ahead and just gently pull our head to the side again stretching out that neck releasing any tension that we feel in our neck and our shoulders and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just gently tugging your head, releasing that tension. Then we'll go ahead and take a big inhale, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, bringing them down a few more times. Inhale, really filling those lungs. Exhale, completely letting the air out. Inhale, reaching up. Go ahead and pause in this position, bring your palms together, and then we're just gonna lean to the side. Still keeping our chest nice and high, stretching out that side body. Inhale back to center and stretch it to the other side. Inhale back to center, and then we're going to slowly dive forward, keeping those biceps by your ears, going all the way to the floor. Really take your time. You can even tuck your hands into your elbows and just kind of sway back and forth. The full moon is such a beautiful time, not only to release what is no longer serving us, but also show gratitude and celebrate what you manifested in this season. So go ahead and bring it back to center and we're going to extend our left arm towards the sky, keeping our right arm on our mat, looking up towards the sky. Twists are perfect for releasing anything that is no longer serving us. So breathe into that twist. And then let's go ahead and take it to the other side. So bringing your left arm down, extending your right arm towards the sky or whichever side you started with. Taking a nice deep breath as we consciously consider what we're letting go of in this full moon. Now bring both arms down towards the mat and we're going to go ahead and take it to the left side just doing a nice hamstring stretch, holding on to your ankle or your calf and bringing your chest towards your leg. And then we're going to slowly transition into a low lunge so both hands are on the mat and then we're going to bring that back knee down into a low lunge, bringing your biceps by your ears and then slowly leaning back. As you're leaning back and leaning into that hip stretch, just practice some gratitude for what you've cultivated in this season. All right, go ahead and bring it back up and we're gonna extend that front leg and just do another quick hamstring stretch, bring your chest to our leg. Bring it back into a low lunge and then a high lunge. So take your time getting there. Biceps by your ears, reaching up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath. And then we're gonna go ahead and prep for warrior three. So if you can, go ahead and lift that back leg as high as you can. Meet yourself where you're at. Keep those biceps by your ears. And if you're feeling an extra challenge, go ahead and bring your arm to your back foot holding onto the top of your foot, keeping that front arm extended, and just lifting up that back foot as high as you can. Really breathing into this pose. Again, meeting yourself where you're at. 
You can even go back to warrior three if you need to. Slowly bring that back foot down. Then we'll transition into warrior two. So facing the front of your mat or the other side of your mat, depending on which side you're on. Straighten that front leg and we're going to go ahead and lean it towards the back of our mat, stretching out that side body. And then we'll take it to the other side, keeping our legs straight into pyramid pose. So our arms are still extended. We're looking up towards the sky. Bring both arms down. Do a quick stretch on that side and then bring it back to center, both hands on the mat. You can even stretch them towards the back of your mat if that feels good. We're gonna repeat that sequence on the other side. So go ahead and bring it to a hamstring stretch on the right side or the opposite side of where you started. And then we'll bring it to a low lunge. So both hands on your mat, lower that back knee, and then bring your hands up towards the sky, biceps by your ears, and go ahead and lean into that hip stretch and lean back, looking up towards the sky. Again, still showing appreciation and gratitude for what we've manifested in this lunar cycle. Go ahead and straighten that front leg. Bring your chest towards your leg, and up doing another hamstring stretch. Back into low lunge, and then we'll pop it up into high lunge. Again, taking your time getting there. Reaching up towards the sky, biceps by your ears, relaxing those shoulders, and then we're prepping again for warrior three. So bring that back leg up as high as you can. And if you're feeling that extra challenge, you're gonna bring your arm to your foot, really pushing the top of your foot into your hand as you try to reach it as high as you can, extending that arm out in front of you. Meeting yourself where you're at and finding your balance in this season. Go back to warrior three if you need to. And then we're gonna slowly lower that back leg and transition into warrior two. Then we're gonna straighten that front leg, lean it back, stretching out the side body towards the back of your mat and then bring it the other way into pyramid pose, keeping those arms extended, having your gaze towards the ceiling, breathing into each pose as you move through this. Now go ahead and bring it into a hamstring stretch and then slowly into a wide forward fold. Now we're gonna run through this whole sequence again, but now we're going to sequence each pose to our breath, so we'll be moving a little bit faster. So taking a few moments to take a few breaths in this forward fold, thinking about that intention you set at the new moon. Maybe you need to revise that intention. Maybe you need to let go of some things to really embody that intention. Just take some time to reflect before we start the sequence again. Taking nice, deep breaths. Then we're gonna inhale, take it over to the left side into hamstring stretch. Exhale into low lunge. Inhale, lower that back knee, bring your arms up by your ears. Exhale, leaning back. Inhale, straighten that front leg into a hamstring stretch. Exhale, back into low lunge, and then go ahead and take it into a high lunge. Inhale, find stability on that front leg, pop it up into warrior three. Exhale, grabbing that back foot if it feels aligned. Inhaling back into high lunge. Exhale into warrior two. Inhale, take it back into a reverse warrior, straightening that front leg. Exhale into pyramid pose. Inhale, bring it into a hamstring stretch. Exhale, meet me back in a wide-legged forward fold. Okay, go ahead and inhale. We'll take it to the other side, hamstring stretch. Exhale into low lunge. Inhale, lower that back leg, arms up into low lunge, leaning it back. Exhale, straightening that front leg into a hamstring stretch. Inhale, back up into a high lunge. And then we're going to exhale it into warrior three. Inhale, bring that back foot up to your arm. 
into that challenge pose if that feels right. Exhale, bringing it back to high lunge. Inhale into warrior two. Exhale, straighten that front leg into reverse warrior. Inhale into pyramid pose. Exhale, bring both arms down into a hamstring stretch. Inhale, bring it back into a wide legged forward fold. Catching your breath here, taking just a moment before we do a few more movements to round out our practice. Now in this next move, we're gonna inhale and take it up towards the star pose, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it back down on the other side, making a circle with our body. Then we're gonna inhale, do the same thing, but going in the opposite direction. Do that a few more times. This signifies the completion of the lunar cycle with the full moon energy. Then we're going to bring it back into that wide legged forward fold one more time. And then we'll slowly transition into a seated position on our mat. Take your palms a little bit farther behind your shoulders. And we're going to bring it up into a reverse plank. So keeping our body nice and straight, our chest is nice and high towards the sky. Really pushing our pelvis as far as we can towards the sky. Breathing into this pose. Slowly release it back down. And then we're going to bend one of our legs, raise the other opposite arm towards the sky, and then kind of hook it over that knee doing a light twist. Remember, twists are perfect for letting go. The full moon offers us an opportunity to pause and reflect and consider what we need to let go of. Go ahead and take it to the other side. Keeping your spine nice and straight as you're still twisting and breathing into that twist. And then bring it back to center. Now we're going to go ahead and lean back and go ahead and hug your knees into your chest really quickly before we transition into our Savasana pose. Now I'm gonna start Savasana with my legs in butterfly and my arms in cactus pose, but you can start in traditional Savasana with your arms and legs straight. Do what feels most comfortable to you. But we're gonna take these next few moments to really harness the energy from our practice and harness the beautiful energy from the full moon. The full moon illuminates all aspects of our life the things we need to celebrate, and also the shadows and the things in our subconscious that we need to let go of. So take this time to shine light in any areas of your life so you can manifest all that you desire in this journey. Continue taking nice, deep, full breaths as you pause and reflect. When it feels right, go ahead and sit up and meet me in the center of your mat. I'm so grateful that you joined me in today's full moon yoga flow practice. I will see you in the next yoga flow. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's yoga flow or meditation, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future yoga flows or meditations. Or if you have any ideas for topics you want me to cover in the future, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video. I love every single one of you and I'm so grateful that you joined me today. See you in the next video.